Good morning, Kidventure Kids. It is so nice to see you again. I'm not a pirate this morning. I'm just Janice. Not Jolly Janice, the gentle pirate, just Janice. And I am here to talk to you about one of the questions that was left in our question box, and that is, why are there slugs? Now, you've all heard of slugs, right? And I've been researching to find out a little about them to tell you. First of all, um, what they eat. They eat mostly leaves and rotting fruit and vegetables. And sometimes they even eat their dead buddies. Like if there's a, another slug around that's died, they'll, they'll just clean it up. So, you know, they're good about that. They clean up messes. And I learned that some people keep slugs for pets. So I've had cats and dogs for pets and even a guinea pig and gerbils, but never a slug and I'm not going to. But anyway, I want you to know that if you ever have a pet, pet slug, you can go to the pet store and buy slug food for it. Can you believe it? Maybe you could ask for a slug for your birthday. Oh, this is really interesting. Slugs aren't male and female. They're not boys and girl slugs. They're, every slug is both a boy and a girl at once. They all lay eggs and they all take care of the babies until they get out into the world and go to college and whatever slugs do when they grow up. But when you have an animal that's male and female at the same time, it's called a hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite. You've probably noticed that slugs come out, lots of them come out after it rains. You've probably seen them on your patio or on your, in your yard. And that's because slugs' bodies need to be kept wet in order for them to stay healthy. So on hot summer days, you won't see slugs very much because they try to get under a pile of damp leaves and stay a little bit moist so that they won't die because they'll shrivel up and die if they don't get moisture in their bodies. Okay, the last thing I want to talk to you about is that there's nothing dangerous about slugs. They can't bite, they can't hurt people. They can just make gardeners kind of angry when they go into the garden and eat the flowers and the vegetables that, you know, that have been growing. So I have told my children as they were growing up not to kill an animal unless they're going to eat it or unless the animal's going to eat them. So I tell you the same thing. Don't kill animals unless they're going to eat you or kill you or unless you're going to eat them, okay? Because it's wasteful. Just try to remember that God made every animal. He had a reason for making slugs, even though we're not really fond of them and we don't want to touch them much because they're slimy. But God made them. He created everything in the world and he had a reason. Um, so there you go. I have enjoyed researching slugs and sharing with you. And I just hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye now. See you later. Hey!